Day 93. Okay, so I just watched the funniest reel. <laughs> it was like a pure throwback on all nostalgia things in the 90s that I just died a little inside. I shared it on my story, so feel free to go watch it. It's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, so what I feel like a lot of tour themes are coming up to for me today, and I think that's what I really want to talk about in this live. Uh, so let's talk about like tour season a little bit. I'm sorry, my eyes are a little itchy. So tour season is an earth sign, and I posted just earlier. I saw I was talking about sensuality because it is Taurus is a very sensual sign. And in addition to that, being an earth sign, I want to talk about the root chakra today. So the root chakra is the first chakra in our human body. There are other chakras that are above and below us, including our earth star and our soul star. Uh, that will be on another day that I will bring those up. But today I want to talk about the root chakra. So what is the root chakra all about? The root chakra is one, the materialistic world, um, kind of like how you navigate with the materialistic world. It is the place of grounding. It is also uh, the sense of security. And talking about the materialistic world, this is where also lack resides. Um, so where you will find scarcity and lack in there. And so chakras can be you know, either closed up or sometimes overreactive. And the idea for chakras is to be in balance. Uh, so constantly like, you know, opening and closing, like spinning as in a clean, clean way. Now, an overreacted, overreactive or a closed chakra can't like come, there's going to be certain themes that come up. And these can be anywhere around this, like the areas such as lack mentality so feeling that there's not enough uh feeling that um there's not enough resources there's not enough things like money is hard to get a, a like a not a very positive relationship with money seeing money as a terrible thing or on the other spectrum a sense of in, like lack of security or safety within your body it could be within your environment your environment that doesn't feel safe or within your body you don't feel safe in yourself and so those are the some of the themes that can um, come up like mentally but it also some of those themes rely a lot in our subconscious as well we may, may not be fully aware of it consciously and so here's the interesting thing is that our body loves to talk to us through like physical pain or physical ailment ailments so when there's something that you know energetically is off in our body and if we are not consciously aware of that it can come up in come up physically so when you're looking at the root chakra this is where you can see that if there is one any discomfort or any pain especially around your knees and like the lower part of your body so your knees your legs um like maybe a little bit in your lower back and so that is where you will feel if you have any injuries or discomfort in that area this is where you can start tapping into some root chakra healing and there's many ways to heal through the root chakra you can do meditations. And so meditations is simply looking into YouTube or Insight Timer app where you can Google root chakra meditations and you'll find many there. So you could do guided or you can do sound frequency music, which I love to do both. Sound frequency, I'll usually put it while I nap and just kind of like sleeping to it is amazing. And so... That is one way to tap into it. Another way is to go go and tap into journal prompts. Like, what is it that you are feeling like lack of security right now? Or why are you feeling unsafe? Or what is your relationship right now with the materialistic world? Like, are you seeing that there is a lack of certain elements in your life? And is that somewhere you're focusing on? Also, what is your relationship with money? How do you view money? Do you view money as an infinite resources or do you view money as a bad thing? And 
How does that, how does money come into your world and leave your world? Do you feel bad about spending? Do you, is there some sort of guilt or, you know, that you shouldn't be spending or that you shouldn't have this much money or that you feel like you don't have enough money? And so those are other ways to tap into root chakra healing. And so, um, yeah, so between like meditation, journal prompts is ways. Also, root chakra is associated with the color red. And this is where you can, you know, eat foods that are more red and like balancing out your root chakra. Uh, you can also wear color red. Oh, you know, you could wear red clothes or that, you know, it is a way to start balancing out that root chakra. Um, So there are many ways to tap into that. And even when you are doing the meditation, like focusing, the root chakra is located at the bottom of the tailbone. And so if you focus on that, on that, if you visualize it, if you're someone that can easily visualize through your third eye, focus there, see what you're seeing. Is is a sphere like, is it glowing red or is it very dim red? Is it, you know, like kind of like turning, but slowly, or is it turning super, super fast? Uh, sometimes you may look, it may look like there's like some things stuck to it, you know, and so there's many ways to visually check in on yourself and see what's actually happening with your root chakra. And another way to tap into the root chakra is through ground grounding. And so this is going outside, taking your shoes off and connecting to mother earth. That is like probably the best way to really activate and heal like unblock or um bring down from an overreactive root chakra and bring down into the present moment because the root chakra is all about the present moment it's not the past or the future and so grounding taking your shoes off outside in the ground and being in mother nature it allows the electrolytes that are coming from the earth to re-energize your body and mother nature itself like we are mother nature mother nature is us and going out there and tapping into that is super powerful and it brings us so much healing um and things such as going into mother nature and meditation have our proven facts that it is healthy for us and it is healthy for our immune system it is healthy for our body and so here are just like some ways that you can um use to balance out that root chakra um and i'm going to leave it at that for today for day 93 so if there's something about this video that you liked please share a comment if you found this super interesting and you want me to talk more about the chakras let me know. Let me know. Send me invites. Like the more people like comment on my stories or in my videos and you let me know what you want to hear about the more of of what I talk about, send me the invitations and I take these invitations and I create something magical with them. And sometimes it's in a form of a masterclass. Other times it's just another IG live or it's a post. So I'm asking for more invites, please, as a projector. And love you very much. And I'll speak to you tomorrow for day 94. Bye.